Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today I'm going to touch base and give you an updated version of my entire mask collection. As I did something crazy yesterday, I took all of my uh, paintball masks, as well as my Plague Doctor mask, moved it from one wall, and brought them over to the other side where the rest of the masks are. I want to show you what I have so far. And I got a couple of new ones uh, just previously. And I'll show you all of those, but I do have some new ones coming in, but they won't come in until about mid-October. Then uh, we'll touch base on those once those come in. But anyway, I'm going to show you what I got so far when it comes to these masks. And we'll talk a little bit about them. Now, I got this room highly lit because in some areas it's really dark. You can't see it, so I had to bring my lumens light in and light up the entire place, okay? So if it's a little bright, I apologize about that. So let's go ahead and start with this one here. This is a Day of the Dead mask. Okay, now I got that from Party City for like five bucks. This one as well. I think I went there the next year and got this one for almost like five bucks as well. But keep in mind they have a tendency to go up. They never seem to go down unless they really want to get rid of them. Then they'll put them on sale or you know put them in clearance. That's the only time you can get them at a decent price. But 9 times out of 10, they're always jacking those prices up. Like your Trick or Treat Studios, those masks, damn near every one of them just went up. Literally, they jumped up like 10 bucks plus shipping and handling. So now if you want to buy yourself a mask, it's going to come close to 70, 80 bucks. Almost 90 bucks for a mask. And I don't think that's worth it in my opinion. Unless it's something you absolutely got to have. Then go ahead and ignore the price and buy it. Okay? All right. Day of the Dead Mask. Okay, now, over here we're going to start at the bottom here. And right, now this guy right here is in fact made of some kind of ceramic or some kind of porcelain that's made for outside, some kind of pottery. I got them from CVS uh, Pharmacy. I got this one and I came home and I literally, there was a mummy one there. And I said, I better go back because if I don't go back, it's not going to be there. So I literally went back 15 minutes later, and it was there. And I'll show you that one once I get over there. Because uh, if I didn't pick it up, it would have been gone. But anyway, they was, these were only like 20 bucks. Okay. And they're very cool looking. They do light up red. This is a dollar store mask. Okay. I picked it up because of the way it looked. And um, because of the fact that it's red. <laughs> okay. Another dollar store mask. These are glow-in-the-darks. I got this because I love pumpkins, okay? Now this guy right here is another pumpkin. The mouth in itself, the whole entire mask is made of sponge. Okay, as you can see. The mouth does move up and down. There's a lot of YouTube videos with this particular mask. This one here is quite popular. I just got this one last week. It's very similar to the one I just showed you. The mouth does move up and down. It's some kind of crazy clown. But anyway, I got that last week. Okay, now moving down here to the bottom. Okay, now this guy right here. Oh yeah, the lighting is a lot better. The Scareborn. It's, um, as you can see, the head in itself is incredibly small. If you have a big head like myself, these won't fit, okay? If you're small, that's fine. These will fit great. Unfortunately, they don't have various sizes for these things. I wish they did, but they don't. But you can see the detail on these things. This thing is absolutely ridiculously cool looking. Okay. This guy here is my demon mask. I literally got that like 15, 20 years ago. And it's very similar to um, Eddie from uh, the mascot from Iron Maiden. So I had to pick it up. I think I got it from Party City for like 40 bucks. It was on clearance or something. And I said, all right, I'm going to steal that. This here is another uh, scarecrow type situation, but it's a um, burlap bag with a lot of teeth, okay? And that guy right there, I got him from Party City. I actually put it on, and I started suffocating because there's no holes whatsoever in the mouth or anything. So you can't breathe out of this thing, unless you've got a small head. But this is also very tight on your head if you've got a big head. This is like a zombie, like vampire type of situation here. Uh, this one's very cool. I got it for like 10 bucks on uh, Amazon. Okay, another Frankenstein mask. This one here, I liked it because of the way it looked on Amazon. 
but as you can see it's an open mouth feature you have to make up your mouth and stuff I did just not a fan of that kind of stuff I like full masks that's a pumpkin he's very cool looking there's that ceramic one I was telling you about the mummy that I literally went back to CVS 15 minutes later and picked it up these do light up red now these guys right here are part of the actual season of the witch um, Halloween 3 okay a lot of people didn't like those movies but I did I thought it was quite interesting All right anyway what's up with that hang on for a second here guys must adjust there we go I got the pumpkin okay alright and the skull skull is cool looking too I like the way it looks this is the Jamie Lloyd uh, mask that I got from my uh, trick-or-treat studios I got that like three weeks ago for like 14 bucks and this guy right here very cool looking okay he's part of the return of the living dead 1985 movie but he's not in the movie at all he's actually part of the poster okay if you ever see the original poster that they have out for it there is a zombie that looks just like this with the hoop earrings here as you can see okay he is part of the poster they actually made a poster version of it the actual mohawk you got to stuff it if you don't it will eventually collapse on you because it's latex okay play doctor this thing is very cool looking when I wore it very comfortable to wear it too it's got a very steampunk look about it okay this Billy the puppet the mouth is a secondary mouth here it okay I wasn't a fan of that when I first got it but I said I'm just gonna put it on the styrofoam head and leave it alone okay 2018 Michael Myers mask 1978 shape now this is not the actual boogeyman the boogeyman actually has the hole on the side of the neck this is the actual shape version of the 1978 Michael Myers mask up here rubies now this guy right here is Herman Munster now a little story about him okay I actually got it in and looked at it and I noticed the eye was a little messed up but when I looked upon looking at the pictures online I guess that's just the way they did it I don't know why but I end up coloring in the eyes a little bit so it has a little bit uh, a better look to it now this guy right here I believe is the Universal Studios version of Frankenstein's monster now a lot of people want to pretty much um, argue the fact that this is Frankenstein it's not okay this is in fact a creature that had no name whatsoever Victor Frankenstein was the actual uh, creator of the creature and obviously they decided to go ahead and call him Frankenstein because of Victor Frankenstein but this creature in fact did not have a name okay this guy right here rubies again when it comes to rubies masks and stuff like uh, the Herman Munster they do come in defective as you can see the eyes are a little messed up on these things okay so they're not 100% perfect okay this guy right here is completely different than any of the other ones here uh, it is a trick-or-treat studios version of uh, Frankenstein's monster it is very unique looking it also has you know the kind of real hair that the other ones don't have clown okay I love clowns a lot of people get freaked out by clowns not me okay I love clowns I think they're cool especially the designs of them now in train world as a train 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 world or something like that anyway it's a it's a um, it's a big event I think it's in Missouri they have a warehouse full of all kinds of animatronics masks anything horror and Halloween related uh, they in fact uh, have a lot of these cool looking clowns and there was this one that had I think yellow hair he was he was huge but he was very cool looking okay I would love to get my hands on one of those let's see some of these my Funko Pops are falling down here all right hang on guys bear with me here all right all right another crazy clown okay I love the tongue on this thing it's very lizard like now up here, even though it's not mask related, it is my Funko Pop and body knockers and uh, bobbleheads. So I'm going to show you what those look like, okay? And we're going to go right through it. 
Now I gotta reach inside here, guys. Alright, now this guy here is a royal pain in the ass. He will not stand up no matter what I do. So he's just gonna stand there. And this guy right here needs to come out and play. Alright. There we go. And there we go. He falls, because I got so many of these things. They're in here real nice and tight. Stay. It's real tricky, guys. Hang on. Alright, now this one here, the Pennywise, it actually fell one day, okay? And that damn thing lost its foot, and I couldn't find a foot anywhere until last night when I was moving my masks around. I noticed it down there on the bottom shelf, so I glued it back on, and he's, he's good to go again. But anyway, this is some of my collection when it comes to the Toonie Terrors, or Terra Toonies. Uh, I can't remember what I get those uh, kind of mixed up. But anyway, I got some uh, horror collections here. I got some Killer Clowns. Now up here, it is in fact a creature from the Black Lagoon. Now I will tell you this about this. The mask in itself is big enough for your big head. But you'll notice that the eyes, the peripherals, you cannot see side to side with it unless you shift the mask. It's not a good mask to wear, uh, but it is if you're going to take pictures or something like that, that's fine. Okay, this here is the bloody variant of the ghost face. And as you can see, it does have the, the tubes and everything. And it's got a little bit of blood all the way through the mask and stuff. Fun World's um, ghost face mask. This is also Fun World too. Okay, This here is a steampunk version just like this one down here. Alright. Except this one's a half mask. And it's brass in color. It's very cool looking. Okay, let me just adjust my thing so I can see it. There we go. Alright, that's what it looks like. Alright. It's a very cool looking mask, I will tell you that. This here is a Frankenstein slash zombie mask. Okay, he's very heavily scarred. As you can see, all the way through the top of his head. Now, this is my biggest Frankenstein mask. I got it from Fright Catalog. Uh, years ago and the actual website in itself suddenly disappeared unless it got bought out or something I don't know what happened to it uh, but no word on what really happened unless it like I said they just shut down mysteriously and that's pretty much it in a nutshell but that is my biggest Frankenstein mask okay now up here is my um, I don't know if you can see it from here there he is way up there okay that is my predator mask. It's a wolf predator mask, and I got it from Wish.com for like five bucks. Another wolf predator mask. Hang on for a second here so I can get the angles right. All right. I'm going to move that in so you can see it because it's way up on the wall. Okay. That's a very cool look. It's a paintball mask. Jason Voorhees paintball mask. Paintball mask. This is an actual spirit Halloween uh, mask that I got for like 15 bucks or something. This is my Plague Doctor mask, and my other one is Steampunk version. And then down here is some more of the uh, paintball masks. That one is the uh, Patriotic United States version. These are pretty much the same molds. Black. And this one here is the British version. I think that one's cool looking. This one almost like a death stroke. It's a very cool looking mask. And these guys here, I don't know, they're like, kind of like... Um, Halo type situations going on. I liked them. I seen them online. This one here is cool too. That one is uh, skull featured. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it. And I shot. Now what I'm going to do is kind of pull it back so you can see the entire thing without knocking things over here. So let me get into view here. All right, get past my chair here. This way you can see what it looks like for the most part. All right. Now, I know the light is kind of glaring, and I apologize about that. But you get the idea of what the entire wall looks like there. All the way straight down. Well, that is pretty much it. I'm going to give you a scan of the room here. And that's my Halloween tree. I will eventually, once Halloween gets over, I'm going to bring out my Christmas tree. All right. But that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, this is Pumpkin Horror. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. 
because I'm going to be pushing out some more videos when it comes to horror and Halloween related situations. You guys have yourselves a good day, and again, thank you for watching the video.